All right, hello and welcome back to Robo Resto. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be moving one of the robot Axis arms. Um, we have the STM32 Nucleo platform, which is uh, a 32-bit processor, very handy, good for just general purpose stuff. And then we also have the new uh, Bammer motor driver. Uh, this is a very uh, high power motor driver um, that we have. And uh, it can run about 20 amps per channel without cooling. Um, and then uh, we've run it up to uh, 32 amps uh, with cooling. So it's a very, very powerful motor driver. And the best part is you can actually monitor the amount of current you're using. Um, and we're going to be using the multimeter here to monitor how much current we're going to be using during this test. Okay. So uh, how this works is we have a motor here. Um, and then we also, on the other side, we have a potentiometer. Um, that's on the other side, so you can't see it. And uh, essentially what we've done is we've just hooked up uh, the two motor wires uh, to the Bammer motor driver. It's just a DC motor, so easy to drive. Uh, and then we've also just hooked the pot uh, literally straight into um, the controller. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run this. Um, and we've got a PID loop in there. Um, and the PID loop has uh, some pretty uh, responsive values. And what you're going to see is you're going to see a lot of oscillation. And we're also going to see the downsides and, uh, sorry, the backlash of uh, uh, what's going on in the arm. So what it's going to do is it's just going to move randomly uh, to different positions every five seconds. So what you can see is there's a lot of backlash. Every time it gets to a point, you can see that it oscillates a lot. Now this is not good in robotic control, um, and we cannot uh, use this. Uh, if we take a look at the amount of current that's being used, we can see that we use upwards of about uh, 130 milliamps, depending. Okay, we're going to run the same program again, uh, but this time um, with more tuned PID values. So what you can see is that we're actually uh, just going uh, straight to every point, and there's almost no oscillation, and that's even with uh, the backlash that we have in the system. Um, and then what you'll see is when we actually move it to a point, if you try and move the arm, it will actually uh, adjust and fight back, kind of like a digital servo does, quite similar. This is a very uh, similar system, and as you can see, um, we're still drawing pretty similar current. Uh, I still haven't seen more than 150 milliamps. You can see it peaks at about 200, but the continuous run never uses very much. Alright, stay tuned. Next time we'll have all axes moving.